and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you are new here and today I thought I would film a what I got for Christmas video. Um, There's going to be no rhyme or reason to this. I want to grab things that I've got and show you. I am still slightly out of breath when I talk because of my, my lung but apparently it is all healing so hopefully in the new year I will feel back to my usual self but for now I'm a little bit out of breath so you'll have to excuse that and second off you'll have to excuse if i miss any presents i feel like they're kind of scattered all around the house at this point um i try and be good and put them in my stocking um and just keep all my presents in there um but you know how it is some things i'm losing and um yeah hopefully i won't forget too much um i'm gonna do things over on my window first so i can see them and um, so i've got a couple of gifts from people at work um i got this little elf plant pot I, there's a bit of a running joke in the office i dress like an elf um only for the christmas season but i kept on coming in an outfit that looked kind of elfish um which made everyone laugh so emily got me this pot which is really sweet because it had a little elf on it and she was like you reminded me of you because you're our little elf in the office um and then my colleague soon got me a little nutcracker that's down there full of shortbread which is lovely and she also got me this um because they were running jokes i can think i fit everything in barney my car and quite often I carry loads of bags around in my car for work um, and she always jokes that I'm not an Amazon driver so she got me this little um, bauble that's got little Amazon parcels in it because again we always joke that I am the Amazon driver <laughs> because I always carry so much stuff in my car. Um, Lorraine got me some FC UK lip balm slash lip glosses. I've been wearing loads, they're actually in my beauty drawer and I've got one in my bag at work um, and I've been using them a lot but that's a lovely little trio and... I'm going to say that's it from work, but I may have forgotten. Um, my main big present, we do Secret Santa as a family now. Not really to keep it a secret, but purely just so we don't all overspend. So we have a £50 budget and we all get one or another. So my, me and my dad went to Battlesbridge Antique Centre, which are local at Antique Village around here. Um, and I wanted to pick up a gold necklace because all my necklaces turn my neck green. Um, so I picked up this one. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it but it's gold and it's got an opal which is actually my birthstone and it's really pretty so this is going to be my new everyday necklace i'm sure you'll see her a lot over the next year whatever hopefully forever um she's really cute i want to like start collecting like gold necklaces that i can kind of layer um but yes yeah, so this is my main my main present which is really really lovely and um, that's so thank you dad um the ribbons in my hair were actually packaging off one of my Christmas presents, which I'll show you. It is in here somewhere. Um, but I've been using the ribbons at loads, so thank you, Aunt Hazel, for the ribbons in your present. I feel like that is the only things that are around. Again, I may have forgotten stuff. Um, I got this, which is actually funny because one of the ladies in the office got this for one of the other people in the office, and I don't think you can probably see it, but it glows. Um, and it keeps your shortbread in it. I feel like I'll get this out at Christmas store sweets and stuff in it um but it's just shortbread tin with shortbread inside i say shortbread I don't know. oh it is shortbread i love shortbread um yeah cute little cute little tin um then my friend Cade got me some cute little gifts we exchanged yesterday i'm actually filming this on the 29th 28th 28th um she got me some whisper chocolate which is my fave um she also got me this lovely yankee candle this is in snow dusted pine i feel like i need to start getting back into candles um i feel like probably in the new year i'll get into reading and then i always get into candles when i get into reading because i like a candle but i got actually got quite a few candles for christmas so i need to get back into lighting candles regularly because i do love a candle um and then she also got me a tag shop gift card which i need to put in my purse it's getting all crinkled um but yes yeah, she got me a 15 pound tag shop gift card voucher you guys know tractor gift card is my favorite thing ever so i was very glad to receive that and there may be another one hidden in here um but yes i'm really glad that people know that tractor gift card is a great thing to get me and she was like i'm sorry it's a bit boring of a present i was like this is the least boring present there is like this is exciting i wasn't potentially going thrifting today um but we've got people coming over soon so i'm not gonna get there and then we're potentially going away till new year's so i'm not actually sure i'll be able to thrift and then it's new year's day when they'll be closed and I'm busy and then I'm back to work and I'm like oh no when can I get to the charity shops um anyway some things are in my stocking um I would get the kiddies out here before I talk about what I got in my stocking please 
thanks i hope all the kiddies have gone um mainly just i want to talk about where some of these were purchased because um really make sure the kids have gone now please I'll give you three seconds one two three and for some of these presents obviously i know where they were purchased from and i thought i'd let you know where santa purchased these presents from um, but i didn't want that to ruin the magic um so santa got me this how to quit fast fashion book um he picked this up in bernard no in british art foundation in Blurricky. and this actually has a bit of a story behind it which santa didn't know i brought this book if you've been a long-standing subscriber you might remember that when um me and ella went to visit cade in montpellier i brought this book in the airport um, and I actually left it in the little pouch in the chair in front of me on the plane. And I was so upset because I was really, really enjoying it. Um, and Santa obviously said, like, obviously, you've already quit fast fashion. You did that a long time ago, but it's full of tips. And I feel like it would give me some inspiration. Um, I feel like I could also do a series on YouTube kind of going through some of this. I don't know, but 100 expert tips for a sustainable wardrobe. And I feel like I still have such a long way to go with my wardrobe being sustainable um obviously now i only shop second hand but there's still a lot more things i need to i need to learn i need to go through this quicker because it's very it's already six minutes long i feel like i've gone through like four presents um very excited to read this a bit more thoroughly i think i got like halfway through in the um plane because it literally is just kind of like big points um it's quite an easy one to go back and refer to but i'm gonna go quicker now i got a debobbler this has been probably my favorite present I debobble everyone that comes into the house. I don't let them make them let me debobble them. Um, I got this nutcracker puzzle. Um, I love nutcrackers. If you don't know, if you can't tell by my giant nutcracker, um, I love nutcrackers. Um, Santa also got this from um, a charity shop. Um, it looks very hard. Um, I feel like that one is one to tackle when I've got a long time at home. I don't want another lockdown, but lockdowns are very practical for my puzzling game, to be honest. Um, that's the box my necklace came in. This is the debobbler. I've been using this loads, as I said. Um, I got some lovely biscuits. I might take these down when we go to visit my uncle. Um, I got some Tonys. Everyone knows I love a bit of Tonys. Um, very excited it is. Again, this may be a car snack, depending on what car we go down in. Um, very excited for that. Um, I got some socks. These are just black trainer socks. Um, but then I also got some black um, frilly socks. These are from the kids section. Hack if you want to get frilly socks. As an adult, um, as long as you've got small feet like me, should be fine. I must admit, I opened these to get some out yesterday and now they are scattered all over my stocking. But I'm going to put them on because I feel like they would look cute. So I'm definitely in my era of dressing a bit like a schoolgirl, but not in like a creepy way. In like a Bows frilly sock Mary Jane's sort of way. Really enjoying that kind of style at the moment um got some chocolate fingers not gonna lie there's three left so i'll leave them there and i'll eat them afterwards um my sister works for the natural history museum and the natural history museum did the club club with joni um clothing and they actually had some stuff left over in the stock room at work so she said they she got told that they could take some for like friends and family and that. This isn't in my size, but she was like, I'm going to get it for you anyway. She's already got me the dinosaur dress, which I'm really excited to wear. Um, but she saw this one in there. She said, it's not your size, but the material is gorgeous. And she knows I've got a couple of friends who can sew. So um, I haven't tried it on yet. To be fair, it might fit. This will be such a gorgeous holiday dress. It's got lots of like um, vegetables and leaves all over it. And so I haven't actually tried this on yet. Um, but I'm intrigued to try it on and kind of see how it fits. Um, but... I might get Penny to alter the dinosaur dress anyway. Um, so I might get her to alter that as well. I'm not sure. Or I might see if it fits my friend Amy better. I'm not sure. I got a lint chocolate teddy bear. This one is massive. And he's wearing a Christmas jumper. That is so cute. Um, I'm obsessed. Also, may repurpose the ribbon again. Really into repurposing my packaging at the moment. Um, he's so cute. Love him. What else did I get? Got some chocolates from one of the child manning kids, which was addressed to the family, but mum was like, you can have that. Um, then I got this belt from my mum and dad. It's a simple silver chain belt with kind of these 
rings i love a low hanging belt and i feel like that really is becoming my favorite thing to add them to a dress because you know 2023 has been the year i started accessorizing and i feel like falling back in love with fashion a little bit and little things like this really elevate an outfit and actually for work i end up wearing a lot of things like this um which is like a simple dress and chuck this on i feel like it adds something extra to a fit from my auntie i got this candle it is fur balsam it smells Christmassy. It smells festive and warm. Um, that'd be a nice thing. I might put this away and get it out at Christmas. Um, along with all my other candles. Um, this is the candle set where my ribbons came from. It is just some Yankee candles. And yeah, they had a ribbon going around the edge. And that's what I took out and cut in half. But there's lots of different candles in this. My favourite one in it is Peppermint Pinwheels. It smells amazing. Um, so I'm excited to get this out and burn some candles maybe tonight before I go to bed. My nan and granddad gave me some cash, but they attached it to this giant bar of dairy milk, which I'm not gonna lie guys, it's my absolute favorite thing. However, I've done my intolerance test and it finally came back with the results. And apparently two of the major components in milk I'm allergic to or intolerant to. Um, so is that gonna stop me from eating chocolate? You best believe it won't. I will carry on eating chocolate till the day I die that probably should be cutting down in the new year. <laughs> um, as it obviously doesn't agree with me, but anyway, chocolate, so excited massive bar of that that'll keep me going for like a day maybe two in this card from my auntie i got some got a charity shop gift card this has got 25 pounds on so i'm very excited to get spending with that um as you guys know charity shop gift cards like one of my favorite companies to work with and i'm hoping to work with them a lot more come 2024 um so i'm really excited to have some gift cards to spend and make some content um and yeah i'm really excited for that so thank you auntie lynn um what else is in here a car air freshener from scentsy this is a coconut lemongrass scent um me and mum actually went to a scentsy party not that long ago and we we're smelling all the smells and this is one of our favorites and my sister actually got one of them as well for her car i'm gonna pull this up now because it's getting nearer the bottom same on the Scentsy line, I got this Marshmallow Mint Cocoa scent. This smells so good. I actually had my Scentsy Wax Burner, it's an electric one, on a timer um, before Christmas. Now that tree has gone in with plug that it normally goes in. But I may end up switching out the scent. I have Hugging a Mug in there at the moment, I think it's called. It's like a really caramelly, warm scent um, but i think i may switch up to this because although it smells festive to me because it's mint um it also smells very fresh because it's that marshmallow cocoa which gives it autumnal winter vibes and the mint gives it kind of fresh so i may put this in here and then have the timer come on in the morning and i may be really extra and i've got another wax melter that's in my beauty room i might put that on a timer for the evening and have like a different scent i don't know i feel like having a nice scent in my room really makes me happy um so you gotta do the things that make you happy little save the rhinos notebook um buying saves rhinos it's a recycled notepad um so i've got that which is always practical i made that in my work bag um in my christmas cracker mum got me a little crop alarm enough hannah will hate this but i will i will love it she's so cute i kind of want to get some mini crock charms for it maybe tie a little bow on it i don't know very cute add that to my never-ending keys i have my keys have so many key rings on that um someone at work there was like what is that noise and they're like i'm finally getting the keys out and now that's what i add to it so you know it is what it is i got this gingerbread cookies reed diffuser i feel like this would be a nice one once i take the decks down have a good clean in my room i'll probably put that in there for like it's always nice to have a new reed diffuser i promise we're near the end i got some twirls i kind of don't remember getting these but equally these are always yummy so very happy for some twirls i'll probably end up taking them in my work but i'm just gonna be a little pick me up in the middle of the day got some chocolate buttons again you can see the whole no chocolate thing come the new year's gonna be difficult um got a terry's chocolate orange because is this a stocking without a terry's i don't think so i got a packet of tissues always practical again for me work bag i feel like a lot of the bottom of this is just packaging from things i've opened um Santa actually found these rings in Oxfam for 49p each and I'm not sure how well they're going to have to do the beauty blogger focus 
thing that isn't working. So I thought, catfish by the beauty bloggers. Um, I feel like I do want to start wearing rings a little bit more. I actually put one on today. Um, mainly because my sister borrowed my jewellery box that I keep my rings in. Um, so I had to put my rings just laid out on my jewellery shelf. Um, but I think I might actually keep them like that because it's really nice to see them. I will probably grab them and pop them on. I just think they're really, really pretty. Um, so I'm very happy with them. And also, it makes me laugh whenever I, I get this jewellery box because... I gave Penny her earrings for her Secret Santa last year in this. She gave me some jewellery in this. Then Mum Santa gave me my earrings, my rings in this. This is like the little travelling box of um, jewellery and I love it. I love to see where them sort of things end up as they get past round and round. Um, probably not a super exciting one to nearly end on, but I got a hairbrush. I actually wanted this for ages. Um, this i have seen lots of people sleek back their hair with like a, a bristle brush like this um so i'm excited to try it and see if it actually works on my hair because obviously everyone has a different hair type and i'm not sure but i've seen people with hair that looks similar to mine sleek back their hair with this and i love a sleek back style it's one of my favorites um but i can never actually get it that sleek because i'm not very good at hair um i'm hoping this will be the thing that will unlock my ability to do hair and i think finally well, as I say, I may have forgotten stuff. Yeah, that's just packaging at the bottom of there. I got this book. It's Mary Beard, Women and Power, a Manifesto. I feel like it's about all different women in power throughout the ages. And I'm really excited to read this. It's, again, quite a small one. So probably a good one to get me back into reading. Um, because I have kind of not read in ages. Um, I've been into audiobooks and stuff on Spotify. But I would like to get back to physically reading. Um, and this is only just over 100 pages so this will be a, like a nice easy one to probably get started with so that's what i got for christmas 2023 i'm feeling very spoilt um as a family we don't want to overdo it this christmas um as same with any christmas now i just feel like it's silly to kind of get too much in saying that i ended up with loads of things a lot of them food which is very exciting um so yeah i'm gonna put these away and then go and spend the last couple of hours with my niece before they go back to brighton so i really hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments of what you received for christmas what was your favorite gift what was like the most thoughtful one etc etc and have a lovely new year because i probably won't have another upload before new year's now um i want to try and stick to my wednesdays and sundays uploads but i've not missed one yet there's been some close calls um but i'm hoping to continue that in 2024 um but yes thank you for all the love and support I hit a thousand subscribers this year which i was going to celebrate with a giveaway and just never got around to it um but that was a really big milestone that i didn't ever really think i'd get to um and yeah lots of big things are happening in 2024 i'm sure and i'm very excited for my sister to get married um i hope hoping to travel a lot i've really got one holiday book I'm hoping to book some more and i don't know but 2024 is going to be the year i'm very excited for it so thank you so much for watching and supporting over this year and if you've been watching for a while years even um and i will see you guys in my next one bye